I'm going to talk about why I think a post bed sewing machine is one of the most versatile sewing machines you can have. These machines are often used to do uh, complicated shapes like uh, auto upholstery, couches, luggage, awnings, tents, tarps, workwear, bags, stuff like that. They can be set up with various um, you know, tape attachers like this one. Uh, tape would come up through here and then just kind of sneak under there. And what that would do is that would allow you to come in with the seam like this and you hold this seam open and then tape would be applied to the back side. The tape underneath there, it reinforces this seam from, from pulling open. So the tape's coming up this this uh, guide that's been attached to the post bed and then this tape that has been run up through there just goes underneath the foot. When you sew, sew material under the foot it gets caught in the stitches. So you can see the seam and then uh, two stitches, the top stitches. This makes an attractive seam. And then also you have the tape on the back to reinforce the seam. Now this is a real makeshift setup here that I've, I've done just for demonstration purposes. And probably, you know, with this gauge, you wouldn't use this wide of tape to have all this extra. There's a lot of variations with the size of the tape and tape holder or tape guide. I think a wider gauge would be better for tape this wide. But anyway, you get the idea. I don't think this machine is typically set up for what I'm about to show you, but uh, anyway, I, I think it's neat. So jeans, typically you have this, uh, you have this lap seam where the where the two layers are folded in upon each other and that makes a real strong seam so it's you know it's it's four times thick and double sewn and so it's really strong uh, oddly enough though in the same pair of jeans this is just Levi's and I, I think a lot of people a lot of jeans do the same thing uh, on the other side it if I pull it you can see I can expose the seam just by, by pulling on a little bit. The only strength of a, of a seam like this are the strength of the stitch itself. Um, you know, these are perfectly um, durable. You know, this is a durable product. Uh, it's, it's not a slam on them or anything, but uh, you know, yes, there is this very strong lap seam in jeans, but there's also this, this other seam. On this side, it's just a regular old chain stitch seam. And then it's got a, an over edge on it too. This is done on, on a five thread overlock machine. If you are producing a pair of jeans or a sleeve that you want to be a little stronger and you could use something like a post bed and uh, either single needle or double needle depending on what you want your top stitch to look like. Well, I've got this old pair of jeans and I'm just going to demonstrate how you can use a post bed to sew the entire length of a sleeve or a pant leg. I'm just going to follow uh, on the inside of the outer foot the seam and top stitch and the idea is I'm going to attach this piece of the seam to the material itself. So I'm just going to stick my hand up inside this leg. This way I'll be able to manipulate that loose seam over to the side I'm, I'm stitching on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just 
kind of bunch up that down onto the post bed as I go. And so that's handy because it keeps the two sides of the sleeve uh, from getting under the foot. So you can see the top stitch has, has caught that, that loose seam, the overedged seam from the original construction. That otherwise uh, loose seam is now attached down. And so in effect what that has done is that is that's tied those two, two halves together with now three rows of stitching. The seam and then the two top stitches have got those locked together. It's capable of going through all the layers of the pocket and even this seam here. So I don't think that's a typical use of a post bed machine. I wanted to show it just to show some of the versatility of a, of a post bed machine and kind of how handy they are. And while they may look a little odd, they sure do uh, allow a person to go into some areas that are often difficult to to reach or manage otherwise. I know a lot of people that are in bag making like the cylinder arms and I can understand that but I think everything you can do on a cylinder arm I believe you can accomplish on a post bed and I think you can probably do a few more things on a post bed that you otherwise couldn't really do on a cylinder arm or at least not as as easily as this. So I'm a big fan of the post bed. This is my old single needle post bed. I got this machine, it kind of came in a package deal. I didn't know I was gonna like it as much as I did. So after I got it and I put it in this table, you can see a video here about me putting this into a table if you like. But anyway, after doing that, I realized how much I like a post bed machine. That's kind of how things go. Uh, I've got this uh, patch, it's just partially ironed on. So something like uh, sewing patches on to irregular shapes like a hat or even in a sleeve, you know, you can do, you can use this inside sleeves too. So let's put this on. And so while we're on the versatility of the machine, I'll show you a, an appliance I made. And you just lift the foot and it kind of sets in there. Now you can use this like a, a flatbed. So you'll have the same distance here as a, your typical flatbed. It's easy to put on, easy to take off. This is the back. You know, a table accessory like this is just one more way that you can make a post bed machine even more versatile.